So today, let's look at this inequality question. Suppose the sum of square equals to 6, where each of the variable x, y, z are greater or equal to 0. We are asked to find the maximum value of this expression x, y square, z cubed. I'm going to use two different methods. One is using Angian inequality, and second one is something new to my video channel, that is Lagrange multiplier. Please have a good try before you look at the answer. Pause the video now if you wish to solve it. Keep watching the video once ready. So method one, just go to my favorite technique that is inequality. So we'll use AMGM inequality. In order to get x, y square, and z cubed, we may consider x square and y square over 2 plus y square over 2 plus z square over 3 plus z square over 3 plus z square over 3. And we have six term here using m inequality. This will be greater than or equal to six. And the product of all the term to the power of one over six. And for this, we'll have x square. Then this is y, four over four. And the last one will be z six over 27. We know that the right hand side is actually summed up to uh, x squared plus y squared plus x squared and that is equal to a 6. So 6 is greater than or equal to 6. And for this, it can be written as x, y squared and z power 3 to the power of 1 over 3. Um, divided by 2, 3 squared 3 to the power of Again, 1 over 3. With this, we decide each side by a 6 and raise to the power of 3 after that. So it means that x, y, square, z power 3 will be less than or equals to 6 times square root of 3. So we have to be careful and to show that this, this value, 6 square root 3, is achievable. So we will see that the equality holds if and only if x square equals to y square over 2 and equals to z square over 3. Together with the condition x square plus y square plus z square equals to 6, then we know that x square is x square, y square is 2x square, and z square is 3x square equals to 6. So meaning that x square equals to 1. And because x is non negative, x has to be equal to 1. And if x equals 1, then y will be equal to square 2. And z will be equal to uh, square of 3. So with this x, y, z, then we know that x, y, square, z, power 3 will be equal to 6 square 3. So this is the end of the method 1 that we use uh, AMG inequality. Um, later on, we use the Lagrange multiplier and you will see that it will be a bit different because we will obtain this relation before we actually get the answer. If you enjoyed this video, Please like, comment, and subscribe. If you are going to use a range multiplier, we will let this is g, and it is equal to x, y square, and z power 3. The method that we use is, you get the partial derivative of g, respect to x, that is y square z, and partial derivative of g respect to y, and we have 2, x, y, z power 3. And finally, the partial relative of g respect to z, that is 
3x y square z power 2. Now we define this, we define fx as x square plus y square plus z square minus 6. So you do the same thing, uh, get the partial derivative of f respect to x, that is 2y, and this is similar to 2x, 2y, and 2z. The Rush multipliers say that there must exist non-zero value lambda such that the partial derivative of g is equal to lambda of the partial derivative of f, that is y squared z power 3 equals to lambda 2x. Similarly, 2xy z cube equals to lambda 2y. And finally, 3xy square z square equals to lambda 2z. And we can say this is 1, 2, and 3. Since lambda is not equal to 0, and obviously the maximum value of this term is not going to happen if any of x, y, z equals to 0. So we can take 1 divided by 2. And we will have a lot of things will cancel off, and this will be y over 2x equals to x over y. And this will mean that x squared equals to y squared over 2. If we take 1 divided by 3, then we have z over 3x equals to x over over z. And this means that x square equals to z square over 3. So as I mentioned just now, using the branch multiplier, we will get the relation of x and y first before we get to see what is the value. Together with this, we want to see when fx equals to 0. fx equals to 0 when x square plus y square plus z square equals to 6. And using the relation here, we know that uh, x squared is x squared, y squared equals to 2x squared, and z squared equals to 3x squared, minus 6 equals to 0. So this means that x is equals to 1 again, and therefore y will equal to square root 2, and z equals to square root 3. Okay. And with this, g maximum will be equals to 1, square root 2 square, and square root 3, power 3. And this is 1, this is 2, this is 3, square root 3, so it is 6, square root of 3. Here show the method by using the branch multiplier. Okay, that's all for today's lesson. I'll see you again next time. Bye-bye. <laughs>